Hello guys, and welcome. The other day I opened a box of Panini Prism football cards, and they pulled a Joe Williams jersey card, which was awesome. But then I was la left with a stack of base cards, and initially I was going to send out a few requests, and I looked at the stack, and I thought, why not send out all of them? So today I printed out letters and autograph requests for all the base cards. Here, I actually ran out of stamps twice, and I still need to um, get some stamps to send these out, but I'll send these out tomorrow. I'm gonna keep track of the date and see how fast or if any returns I get in the mail and uh, document those. And um, I also opened a uh, box of Panini Contenders draft pick cards from 2017. And I pulled the Vince Beagle or Beagle autograph card and the Joe Mathis autograph card, which were awesome. Obviously, I collect autographs, so that's great. That's why I bought the box in the first place. And I um, went through the um, the base cards, and they insert some retired players. So I was I'm not current on. Um, football players right now. I haven't followed the hobby or the um, followed football for quite a while, but I went through and checked all the um, the base cards to see who's an active player and who's not. And everybody was an, uh, an active player except the obvious ones that I had. Uh, Gail Sayers, Roger Staubach, and Ray Grange obviously has not played in quite a while. But I'm thinking since I collect autographs, I want to get your input on this also. If you had a choice between, I also pulled a Ricky Williams, Dante Foreman um, Collegiate Connections card. And out of the four or five people, who would you rather get an autograph from if you could? Red Grange, Roger Staubach, Gail Sayers, Ricky Williams, or Dante Foreman? For me, it would be... I imagine Gail Sayers, then Roger Staubach, Red Grange, then Ricky Williams, but that's just my personal opinion. Then the um, the regular season or the regular um, season ticket cards from Panini Contenders draft picks also included retired players Bo Jackson, Dan Marino, and Emmett Smith. And I should have done this with the other ones. But out of those three, who would you most like to get an autograph from? And these three are pretty even to me for um, desirability and autograph collecting. But I would have to go with Bo Jackson. Great running back. Um, just was awesome when he played. So was Bo Jackson. Definitely. Bo knows two-sport player, and Dan Marino, legendary quarterback. So it was a tough call, but definitely um, I would have to go with Demet Smith as a autograph desired that I don't believe I have. And I also pulled a uh, Barry Sanders Clause of 2004 Hall of Fame card, and he would definitely trump everybody else in the group regardless. He's a great player, was a great player, legendary, so, out of everybody that I don't have, I would pick Barry Sanders, obviously. So, I'm going to send out these autograph requests, requests tomorrow. Uh, just dropped them all over the floor. And um, I actually have five um, celebrity autograph requests that I'm going to send out. And as I said before, I always send out requests, and there's always one, maybe two people in the request that um, I don't believe I'll ever get a response from. I, I think, in my mind, irrationally in my mind, I think it's unattainable. And this one would be, this time it would be Glenda Jackson, the actress, legendary actress. And um, if I get that back in the mail, it will definitely make my day. So that's what I got going on tomorrow. I'll send these autograph requests out and I will keep track of it. And... do a response video um, as they
come in if they do. Hopefully all of them come back. That would be awesome. And that's where we are today. Sorry. Um, thanks for watching. And have a good day.